Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the watercolor painting effect in Photoshop. The first thing I want you to do is go to File and go to Open. Um, go down to your multimedia. Go to Spring 2013 and click on Fourth Hour. You can go ahead and open your file. The picture will be in there, but I'm going to go ahead and go to mine. It should be under Flowers now. And right now we need to go over to our layers panel and just make sure we have only the background layer. And we need to duplicate that. So I want you to go up to your menu bar and go to layer and go to new and go to layer via copy. That's also the shortcut control J so you can just use that. We'll use that later on in the um, project. Um, so if we look at the panel, we can see the copy layer over here, uh, right above the background. So you need to convert that to a smart object. Make sure it's highlighted blue like it is right there. Um, go to um, the layer menu up here. Go down to smart objects and convert to smart object. You won't see anything happen, but it'll have a little uh, panel here in the side of the layer one in the layers menu. Um, after that, we need to make two more copies of the smart object, not the background. So make sure layer one is still selected. You can just go ahead and use that quick command and press control J twice. And you will see the two copies show up above there. Um, we don't need the default name, so we're going to go ahead and rename them. All you need to do for that is to double click them. So rename layer one copy two to median. Um, rename uh, layer one copy to dry brush and layer one to cut out. Okay, and um, we're gonna go ahead and just focus on using the cutout layer. So we're gonna go over here to your layers panel and the eyes beside your layers, beside median and dry brush, we're just gonna hide them. And now we're gonna apply the first um, filter. We're gonna focus on our cutout layer, so make sure that the cutout layer is highlighted blue. So click on that. You're gonna go up to um, the filter menu at the top of the screen, and you're gonna go to filter gallery. It should open a big um, toolbox, and you're gonna wanna go to cutout and you're going to want to make sure on your sidebars over here, the number of levels is at four, edge simplicity four, and edge fidelity two. It all should be right, so after that, just press OK. Um, we're also going to go over here to your lay layers panel again, and right here under kind, press uh, where it says normal, go down and click luminosity. Right there. And your painting should look like this right now. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to our layers panel. We're going to unhide our dry brush and focus on working with that. So not only do you unhide it, but you need to click on it and make sure it's highlighted it. So that's what we're working with. We're going to go back up to the menus panel or layer and uh, click filter. Go back to your filter gallery. And this time, instead of going to cut out, we're going to go to dry brush. You need to make sure your brush size is 10, your brush detail is 10, and your texture is 3. If all of that's right, then press OK. Um, we're going to go back over to our layers panel under kind, where it says dissolve this time. We're going to click down and find screen. And that is all for that layer, and your painting should look like this. Um, our last step, we're going to go back over to our layers panel, unhide the median, but make sure you click on it so that's the one that you'll be working with. Um, this time we're going to go back to the filter menu, but um, we're going to choose noise, and then we're going to choose median. Okay, right here we need to make sure that the radius is 12 pixels, and click OK. We're going to go back over to the layers menu and where it says normal you want to click soft light. Okay, and with that we're done. Your painting should... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, and with that we're done. Your painting should look 
like it has watercolor effect. 